All right, so let's take a look more in depth on a current relay and what it looks like and a cutaway and what it looks like in um, real life. So this is a current relay. It says current relay cutaway, but I put this slide together so you can see what this, what it looks like physically. Uh, this current relay is small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. It doesn't go on very large compressors. In fact, what it does is these two terminals right here plug directly onto the run and start windings of the of the compressor so it just plugs right onto the bottom two plugs the line voltage comes into this side and this is the coil that we talked about and you see it's a it's a rather large diameter wire and not a lot of windings and then the relay is inside of if the box here so it just Again, it just plugs on. You can unplug it from the compressor and just plug a new one on there if you need to put a new one on. Now let's take a look at how a current relay works. And I'll kind of set the stage here because if you look at this quickly, it's difficult to, to determine what is happening and what components are. So you got a chance to see what one looked like in real life. So let's look at this cutaway. So here is our incoming power at this point. The L terminal on a current relay is where you put your line power and it, go, it flows through this terminal block to the windings of the current relay right here, out of the current relay and into out of the M terminal. The M terminal stands for main and it goes to the run winding. And it's really hard to plug these in backwards but it can be done so make sure that the M goes to the run and S goes to the start. So we'll go over this again. Let me see. Let me change our color here so it's a little bit easier to see what's happening on this side. So when power is applied it goes through the L terminal through the magnetic windings of the current relay comes right back up here and it heads through the into the run winding of the compressor there's a run winding and then it goes back out to the common side of the power so there's our power in and what happens is again the power supplied and the run winding draws lock rotor amps on the startup that makes that magnetic coil energized pulls that plunger up here plunger pushes these plates together that allows um, line power to come through the plates out to the start winding and gets the motor running after the motor has started up and the amp draw through that coil decreases, then the plunger drops back and removes these plates and removes the power from the start winding. But we continue to have power running to the main or the run winding of the compressor. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy to understand when you see the cutaway and know how it works, difficult to figure out if You've never seen it before.